ecosystems if you observe minutely in your surroundings you will find that all things in our environment depend on each other for their existence for example a pond contains varieties of plants and aquatic animals microorganisms underwater rocks etc these all cannot live separately therefore depend on each other ecosystem ecosystem can be defined as interdependence of plants and animals to their environment constituting a biological community and physical environment associated with it factors of ecosystem an ecosystem consists of two factors or components a biotic and b abiotic biotic factors the living organisms are called biotic components or living components of the ecosystem examples plants animals and microorganisms abiotic factors the non living things are known as abiotic components or non living components of the ecosystem examples sunlight air water soil etc the biotic and abiotic components of an ecosystems all work together in a balanced system study of biotic components biotic components or the living components of an ecosystem consist of various plants animals and microorganisms all biotic components interact with each other and with the abiotic components in the biosphere on the basis of their mode of nutrition the biotic components are differentiated into producers consumers and decomposers producers plants are the only producers in this ecosystem they are also called autotrophs all living organisms that manufacture their own food in the presence of sunlight are autotrophs and only plants can do so they make their food by the process of photosynthesis using sun as an energy source consumers Consumers are those who cannot manufacture their own food and are dependent on autotroph organisms for their food. Consumers can be further subdivided into three groups depending on their food. These are herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. 1. Herbivores. These animals feed on plants and are called the primary consumers. Examples: cow, deer, horse, elephant zebra 2 carnivores these animals feed on herbivores and are flesh eaters these animals catch their prey and then eat it they are called predators 3 decomposers decomposers are living organisms that feed on dead organisms and decompose them into nutrients carbon dioxide and water this process is called decomposition Dead plants and animals along with fecal matter are called detritus. Examples: bacteria, fungi. Relation between abiotic and biotic factors. All organisms are dependent on environment which in turn is influenced by the organisms it supports. All living and non-living components are interdependent. The abiotic factors play very important role for the survival of plants and animals. Relation between biotic factors. These include interactions between plants and animals and decomposers. Interaction between plants and animals can be of various types. Predator, prey relationship. Plants and animals depend on each other for pollination, dispersal of seed and food. Some plants and animals form association like symbiosis, parasitism and mutualism. Interdependence between biotic and abiotic factors. To understand relationship between biotic and abiotic factors, let us study the pond ecosystem. A pond ecosystem is full of varieties of aquatic plants and animals as well as water, air, soil and minerals. pond ecosystem the plants or flora found in pond ecosystems includes submerged plants floating plants and algae 
these autotrophs are producers who trap sunlight and by the process of photosynthesis give out oxygen and purify the pond. These plants also host plenty of bacteria and fungi which act as decomposers. The fauna or animals found in the ecosystem includes small and variety of fishes, insects, snakes, frogs, snails, etc. The smaller ones feed on the plants whereas the larger organisms feed on small fishes and insects. All biotic factors of pond ecosystem produce organic waste. The dead and decay organic matter is decomposed by decomposers like bacteria. Forest Ecosystem A forest ecosystem is a complete ecosystem which includes herbs, shrubs and trees, animals, plants and decomposers or microorganisms, dead things such as logs, twigs, trees, animals and birds, rocks, water and soil. Plants are producers while animals and birds are consumers. Energy flow in an ecosystem. All living organisms require energy for their vital functions. Sun is the ultimate source of energy. Energy enters in the ecosystem through plants. Green plants produce their own food, so they are called autotrophs or producers. The small animals, those consume plants, are called primary consumers. The animals that in turn feed on primary consumers are called secondary consumers. The large animals that feed on secondary consumers are called tertiary consumers. All waste produced by living organisms and dead and decay animals and plants are then consumed by microorganisms are called decomposers. Food chain starts with sun, the energy and passes through one level to another. The chain of food dependence is called the food chain. Examples grass, rabbit, tiger, grass, grasshopper, lizard, kite. Grass, insects, frog, snake, peacock. All food chains are interconnected with each other and form food web. A food web is a set of interconnected food chains circulating energy in the ecosystem. When we arrange the food web according to their different level, it will form a shape of pyramid. Interdependence between different organisms. Relations between the organisms of same species is called intraspecific relationship and when two or more different species depend on each other, it is called interspecific relationship. Interspecific relationship may be positive or negative. When one species help another species or when one or both the species are benefited, the interaction is called positive. For example, Commensalism and symbiosis are some examples of positive interactions. Know this. Lichens show partnership in nature between algae and fungi. Algal cells are given shelter on fungal hyphae. On return, algal cells provide food to fungi. On the other hand, when members of one population compete for food, depend on others, are called negative interaction. For example, competition, predation and parasitism. Commensalism It is an association between two organisms in which one is always benefited but the other is neither benefited nor harmed. Examples Liana, Epiphyte, Epizoans. Proto-cooperation it is an interaction between two different species which is favorable but no obligatory to both. Examples Association of Hermit Crab and Sea Anemone Symbiosis It is an interaction between two species in which both are benefited. Examples Lichens Mycorrhizae Nitrogen fixers in legume plants Predation Predation is a kind of direct food relationship between two species of animals in which one is called predator. They capture prey and eat. 
scavenging. Scavengers play very important role in ecosystem as they clean the environment. Scavengers eats the dead and decay bodies of other animals. Parasitism A typical parasite lives inside the host. Parasitism is an interaction between two species in which one obtain its food from host body. Know this. Lichens are called natural indicators. They glow only in pollution-free areas. Litmus is made up of lichen cells which help to detect acid and base.